for it. Welcome guys to my very first on Milji video. Today I want to cover some of the basics in farming experience efficiently for your units. And I feel that this is very important because this is the guaranteed way to improve your team and your units overall and this is going to help your progress in the game much faster. So without further ado, we are going to start. Alright, so first thing first, you want to go to the mall. Go to the mall and also and then go to general buy the experience bonus you can buy the th one day one or the three day one um, the three day one is a better deal but if you don't have enough jade just settle for the one day one okay and then uh, you want to return uh, look under quests look under achievement and then just claim everything that they the game give you for free okay and amongst them you should be able to find an experience bonus just so you guys real quick experience bonus so uh this this guy log in for one day you should be able to get this um automatically so just claim it get the experience bonus um it's gonna last for five hours and this is gonna be really helpful when we farm so now that you have two experience buffs make sure they're both activated like so 50 uh, plus 100 percent and um if you're in a guild um, you know, see if you can persuade your guild leader to buy the experience buffs. Most guilds already have that because it's a very desired buff, so it's always active. Um, we're gonna use chapter one as an example. So you're gonna go to chapter one, explore, and the uh, we really want to look for any mobs with experience buffs surrounding them. So we don't have any right now. Let's just if you don't see any, just get out and then come back in. So essentially, we are just refreshing the map over and over again until we get the desired result, which is at least three experience up mobs, or at least two, depending on how impatient you are. Of course, this is not mandatory. But this uh, is what I find to be most efficient in terms of AP spending. So it looks like we're having pretty bad luck here. Okay, great, finally. So um, we have three here, so we're just gonna start the battle. So, one thing I really wanna show you guys is by defeating three mobs, there's a chance the boss might appear. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but it is a good idea to try and get that boss to show up. Because after you've defeated the boss, you would get more rewards from the chess. And the reason why chapter 1 is one of my favorite chapters when I was first starting out is because there is very little mobs on the map, which means it would take very little AP to get to the boss. Okay? And the more often you get to, um, I guess, spam the boss, um, the more likely you will get treasure chests. And um, that will include the treasure chest, the white little guys is gonna give you. And I'm also talking about the potential treasure chests you get outside of the exploration. As you can see here, we are on our fourth mob, and we have just finished them off, so the boss is gonna spawn. There she is. I want to take note that the bosses are usually a little bit stronger than the mobs. So if you can't handle the boss, you might want to go back to an earlier stage. But if you can, you do want to finish the bosses because they do give greater reward. So after you clear the bosses, there's a chance for these white paper uh, men to spawn and sometimes they give you chests. And in them, you're gonna find um, sometimes pretty good rewards, and that will include jade or AP or amulets. And if the boss doesn't drop anything, don't get discouraged, it's gonna happen a lot. So keep grinding, just keep on grinding. And remember to polish your buffs if you're not using them. And that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.